Hello, my friend, and welcome to Wisdom Trek. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, your guide to wisdom and creating a living legacy. Thank you for joining us for our five-day-per-week wisdom and legacy building podcast. This is day 488 of our trek, and today is Philosophy Friday. Every Friday, we will ponder some of the basic truths and mysteries of life and how they can impact us in creating our living legacy. Currently, each Friday, we are on a multi-week trek as we explore the teachings of some of my virtual mentors, such as Jim Rohn, Zig Ziglar, and Earl Nightingale. The core of the current trek is based primarily on Jim Rohn's book, The Five Major Pieces to the Life Puzzle. I have learned a considerable amount reading and rereading this book in my own trek of life, and I trust that you'll benefit from it also. Keeping with the continuity of Wisdom Trek, I have adapted it to the five trails on life's trek. We are broadcasting from our studios at the Big House in Marietta, Ohio. As we head into the final month of 2016, it is time both to look back over this year to see what we accomplished and also start earnestly planning for 2017. As we continue through this month, let's work together and be prepared so that all of us can have a significant impact on the lives of others. Today on our trek, we will continue on the Attitude Trail. And one of the crucial elements that we often overlook is that any lasting impact that we have on others is based on helping each other because we cannot succeed by ourselves. Another crucial character trait for success is appreciating your self-worth. We all have worth and abundance, and the sooner that we realize this, the more successful in all areas of life we will be. If you've missed any of the past few Philosophy Friday treks, it would be good to go back and review them and get caught up on our progress so far. We do have a lot of ground to cover today, so let's break camp and continue on the second trail of this extended trek as we cover the five trails on life's trek, and this is Attitude Part 4. As a reminder, our overall extended trek will cover these five trails, philosophy, attitude, activity, results, and lifestyle. So the first point we want to look at today is we cannot succeed by ourselves. Everyone needs other people to help them in achieving their dreams. We all need each other. In the business world, we need markets and ideas from others. In the personal world, we need inspiration and cooperation from others. The attitude of other people's affects you, and your attitude has the capacity to affect everyone that you come in contact with. As an example, the American Pledge of Allegiance and its 31 words that we often repeat as an expression of our loyalty to the United States begins with I and concludes with all. This is what America and many other free countries are all about. You and I working together to create greatness. You are uniquely influenced and affected by others in your pursuit of your dreams. You become a powerful force when you understand how powerful working with others is and you understand how valuable your individual contribution is to the larger dream. What can all of us do when we work together? The most incredible things. We can go to the moon and beyond. We can solve the mystery of diseases, diminish famine and suffering, enhance the number and the quality of opportunities available for everyone. We can create that which does not yet exist, which will improve the condition of all mankind. We can bring peace where there was once war, friendship where animosity once prevailed. We can explore the heavens, examine the ocean depths, and investigate the unlimited creativity and capacity of the human mind. Nothing is beyond our imagination, and imagination is the starting point for all progress. The contribution of all of us is so important to each of us. All of us are in a company, a church, a family, a community, and a classroom, and they are intricately connected to each of us. Our attitude about that interconnection of each of us to all of us and all of us to each of us has a great influence on our future. As the author John Doan once wrote, No man is an island entire of itself. Every man is a piece of a continent, a part of the main. Any man's death diminishes me because I am involved in mankind and therefore never sent to know for whom the bell tolls, for it tolls for thee. The second area we want to look at today is appreciating self-worth is the beginning of progress. What would happen if you put your mind to work and read the books, took the classes, and discovered new ways to refine your philosophy? What would happen if you develop a new attitude about your past, your present, and your future? What would happen if you changed your feelings about others and the importance of each individual to our collective destiny? If you did all that, just imagine what an incredible effect this would have on your future. The exciting thing is that each of us already has enough mental, spiritual, intellectual, and creative power to do all that we could ever dream of doing. Everyone has it. You just need to become more aware of all that you already have and invest more time in refining all that you already are and then put it to work for everyone. 
What stops us from recognizing our inherited gifts and talents is a poor attitude about ourselves. We are so quick to see the value in others and yet so reluctant to see it in ourselves. We are always ready to applaud someone else's accomplishment and yet so shy about recognizing our own. The Apostle Paul wrote in his letter to the church in Ephesus, chapter 2, verse 10, For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus, so we can do the good things He planned for us long ago. So let me ask you this. What good thing are you doing today and each day that God has given you? Remember, you are His masterpiece. On our next Philosophy Friday, we will explore how we feel about ourselves is a matter of choice, and we will explore how important the impact of others has on our own lives. We are deliberately taking this trek slowly on the Five Trails of Life trek as we now hike the Trail of Attitude. When we work together to positively impact others, we can have a much greater overall impact on this world. Join us next Friday for some additional insights. I know that you'll find these insights interesting and profitable in living the rich and satisfying life that you desire. Our next trek will be Motivation Monday, where we will explore more trails on how to get and stay motivated to bring value into your world. So I encourage your friends and family to join us and then come along with us on Monday for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. That will finish our trek for today. Just as you enjoy these daily doses of wisdom, we ask you to help us to grow Wisdom Trek by sharing it with your friends and family through email, Facebook, Twitter, or in person when you meet with them and invite them to come along with us each day. If you'd like to listen to any of the past daily treks, they are available at wisdom-trek.com. And don't forget to subscribe to Wisdom Trek so that each day will be downloaded to you automatically. The journal for today's trek is available at wisdom-trek.com. And thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, I am your friend, as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek Podcast and Journal each day. And as we take this trek of life together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and then leave a living legacy each day. This is Guthrie Chamberlain reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and then create a great day every day. See you on Monday.